In the cosmic loom of Egyptian myths, Puhta's existence unfolded like an intricate tapestry, each thread woven into the very fabric of eternity. Unlike mortal beings, Puta did not emerge from the womb. Instead, he was a divine essence, a fundamental force intricately integrated into the very essence of creation. Known by numerous epithets, such as the Opener and Lord of Eternity, Puta's origin danced on the edge of comprehension, an enigmatic melody echoing through the corridors of time. The question of parentage lingered like a whisper in the wind, a riddle that even the wisest sages couldn't unravel. Puta's enigma transcended familial bonds, and his timeless nature echoed the heartbeat of the cosmos itself. Emerging from the primordial waters of Nu, itself, Puta's existence was one of awe and wonder. Picture the cosmos where Puta, the divine architect, stood amidst the swirling nebulae and celestial energies. His power, a symphony of words and spells, resonated through the vast expanse. With the beating heart of creation, Puta conceived the blueprint of the world within the sanctum of his divine heart. In the celestial workshop, Puta's form emerged as a figure adorned in a regal blue helmet that shimmered like the heavens. His countenance, a blend of wisdom and mystery, manifested as a bearded visage with skin dyed in the verdant hues of creation itself. A distinctive green, marking him as the very essence of life, the divine scepter he bore held not just physical weight, but the cosmic significance of dominion. The Waz, Ankh, and Jed symbols etched upon it spoke of Puta's mastery over the fundamental forces shaping existence. The Waz, a stylized animal head atop a fork, symbolized control over chaos. The Ankh, the key of life, whispered of Puta's role as the giver of vitality. And the Jed, a pillar of stability, mirrored his influence over the cosmic order. In the divine pantheon, Puta's tools were not mere instruments but conduits of omnipotent energy, each stroke of his celestial brush leaving an indelible mark on the canvas of reality. In the celestial theater where gods played their roles, Puta stood as the maestro, the god of craftsmanship, the cosmic architect. His purpose extended beyond mere shaping of the physical world, he was the weaver of destinies, the sculptor of reality. With deft hands, Puta crafted not only the tangible mountains and rivers, but also the intangible essence that breathed life into the people and gods themselves. The cause, like ethereal threads spun by Puta's divine loom, intertwined with the souls of other gods, binding them to the very fabric of existence. Puta's role transcended the mortal coil. He was a primordial force a guiding hand in the genesis of divine entities. As the cosmos unfolded, Puta's purpose became the symphony that orchestrated the dance of celestial bodies, a choreography of creation echoing through eternity. In the ancient halls of wisdom, where the scrolls of knowledge whispered tales of Puta's unparalleled wisdom, his brilliance shone like a guiding star. The ancient Egyptians believed that language held the key to creation, and Puta, the divine linguist, was the master. His words were more than mere utterances, they were incantations, spells woven with the threads of cosmic energy. With every word, Puta painted galaxies into existence, sculpted mountains, and breathed life into the dormant earth. His creative prowess, a dance of imagination and reality, surpass the tangible boundaries of the mortal realm. Puta's artistry extended beyond the confines of the physical, reaching into the very essence of existence. His words were the brushstrokes on the canvas of reality, crafting not only the world we see, but also the unseen forces that pulse through the veins of creation. In the whispers of his incantations, the universe unfolded and the gods themselves bowed to the unmatched power of Puta's creative tongue. In the sacred precincts of Memphis, Puta's union with Sekhmet unfolded like a celestial ballet. Sekhmet, with the fierce grace of a lioness, complemented Puta's creative energies. Their union embodied the delicate balance between creation and destruction, a harmony essential to the cosmic order. Puta, the artist, and Sekhmet, the guardian, painted the very essence of existence. 
Together they stood as the yin and yang of the divine realm, their energies interweaving in a cosmic dance. Furuta's creative force merged seamlessly with Sekhmet's fierce protection, forming a divine synergy that held the celestial city in an eternal embrace. In the sanctum of Memphis, the echoes of Puta and Sekhmet's union reverberated, a celestial melody that resonated through the sacred halls. Together, they were not just gods. They were the embodiment of cosmic balance, a testament to the enduring dance of creation and protection in the vast cosmic theater. Puta wove the intricate threads of family, creating a divine lineage that resonated through the ages. The heartbeat of Puta's familial ties echoed in the sacred city of Memphis, where he formed the illustrious Memphis Triad. Beside him stood his wife, Sekhmet, the formidable lioness goddess, and their son, Nefertim. Nefertim, a youthful deity with the vitality of creation coursing through his veins, added a unique brilliance to the divine ensemble. His presence illuminated the heavens, a testament to the enduring legacy of Puta's creative prowess. The triad, a celestial chord, harmonized the cosmic energies, casting their influence far beyond the boundaries of mortal understanding. However, Nefertem was not Puta's only child. Mahis, a radiant deity with the ferocity of a cosmic lion coursing through his veins, brought a fierce brilliance to the divine assembly. His presence, like a blazing beacon, illuminated the heavens, a testament to the enduring legacy of his divine lineage. The divine ensemble, now enriched by Mahis's formidable presence, became a symphony of power and vitality, echoing through the boundless expanse of the cosmic order. Anat, a spirited deity with the dynamic energy of cosmic warfare coursing through her veins, brought a dazzling brilliance to the divine assembly. Her presence, a celestial dance of battle and vigor, illuminated the heavens, a testament to the enduring legacy of her divine essence. Within the pantheon, Anat's fervor resonated like a thunderous war cry, harmonizing with the cosmic energies and extending their influence far beyond the confines of mortal comprehension. Puta's familial connections extended beyond the divine pantheon to the realm of mortals. Imhotep emerged as a favored child of Puta. Imhotep, a name whispered through the corridors of time, or the mantle of Puta's progeny, a cultural hero and master architect whose deeds echoed in the annals of history. Imhotep's hands, guided by the divine lineage that flowed through his veins, became the chisel that sculpted the very stones of Egypt. His legacy, etched in the sandstone of the ages, reached its zenith with the creation of the iconic Step Pyramid, designed and built for the pharaoh, Djoser. As the sun's rays kissed the monumental structure, it stood as a testament to Puta's enduring influence on the mortal realm. In the realm of men, Imhotep became not just a builder of pyramids, but a bridge between the mortal and divine. His deeds, like a beacon, illuminated the path between the heavens and the earth, a cosmic connection that echoed Puta's everlasting legacy. In the grand tales of ancient Egypt, three mighty gods, Puta, Sokar, and Osiris, found their destinies interwoven. Puta, the master creator, shaped the world with his divine craftsmanship. Sokar, a deity who acted as a guardian in the mysterious realms of the afterlife, and Osiris, who ruled over the mysteries of the afterlife, guiding souls through death's embrace and into the eternal realm beyond. Puta, as a celestial artist, molded the very fabric of existence. His craft was not just about mountains and rivers, but the essence that gave life to the gods themselves. Sokar was the guardian of the necropolis, a figure draped in the enigmatic shadows between life and death, where souls transitioned. And Osiris held sway over what happened after life's journey, the journey through death, judgment, and rebirth. Over time, a fascinating twist unfolded, the merging of Puta with two other deities, Sokar and Osiris, creating a powerful triad known as Puta, Sokar Osiris. This wasn't just a divine merger, it was a symphony of cosmic forces. Puta brought his creative genius to the mix. Sokar added a touch of the afterlife's mysteries, and Osiris contributed his role as the judge of souls, 
and the guardian of resurrection. As Puta Sokar Osiris, he embodied the very essence of creation, death, and rebirth. They weren't just gods, they were a living representation of the eternal cycle of life. The Puta Sokar Osiris triad became a focal point of worship in the Memphite region, drawing devotees into rituals that celebrated the interconnected dance of existence. In every ritual and ceremony, the Egyptians honored this triad recognizing the divine orchestration of life's journey. The Puta Sokar Osiris triad wasn't just a theological concept, it was a captivating story that spoke to the heart of the Egyptian worldview. Life, death, and rebirth, all intertwined in the cosmic narrative of this divine trio. In ancient Egypt, there was a ritual called the Rite of the Opening of the Mouth. The ritual's roots traced back to the fallen god Osiris, the first to undergo this sacred ceremony. Puhta, the master of creation, took center stage, his hands wielding ritual tools that bore the weight of ancient wisdom. The air hummed with anticipation as the divine artisans prepared to enact the rite of the opening of the mouth. Osiris, the god of the underworld, his form reconstructed by the loving hands of Isis, stood before the essence of Puta. The ritual tools, each with a symbolic purpose, hovered over Osiris's dormant form. Puta's touch, guided by the intricate knowledge of life and death, began the sacred dance. Blades of different shapes, a fork, a serpent, and adze, moved with precision, opening the mouth of Osiris in a symbolic gesture. In this moment, the boundaries between the living and the dead blurred, and the departed god was granted the ability to eat and drink in the afterlife. Puta, the weaver of existence, had once again crafted a bridge between realms, a testament to the profound connections between the divine and mortal spheres. The rite echoed through the corridors of eternity, a promise that life persisted even beyond the veil of death, a cosmic dance choreographed by the skilled hands of Puta. In the celestial arsenal of Pata, his scepter emerged as his personal artifact. It was a fusion of symbols that transcended the mundane and delved into the profound. Pata stood as the divine architect, holding a scepter adorned with the Ankh and Dijed, a trinity of symbols etched with cosmic significance. The scepter, also known as the Waz, consisted of a stylized animal head atop a fork. In the hands of Puta, chaos became a harmonious dance, a force to be wielded rather than feared. Puta, the cosmic conductor, orchestrated the celestial symphony with the power encapsulated in the scepter. It symbolized power to the gods and pharaohs, the control over chaos and the well-being of the deceased. The Ankh, the iconic key of life, dangled from the scepter like a cosmic talisman. In Puta's grasp, the Ankh symbolized not just life, but the very essence of vitality that flowed through creation. It was a reminder that Puta, the divine linguist, held the key to the heartbeat of existence. Lastly, the Jied, a pillar of stability, stood tall on Puta's scepter. It acted as a symbol, a cosmic anchor, grounding the vast energies swirling around Puta. In the dance of creation, the Jied was the unyielding force that maintained cosmic order, a stability that echoed through the ages. Puta's artifacts were more than a divine tool. It was a language that spoke in symbols, a cosmic script penned by the hands of the celestial architect. In the tapestry of ancient Egypt, Memphis emerged as the hallowed ground where Puta's worship thrived. Once the capital of Lower Egypt, Memphis stood as the epicenter of Puta's divine influence, its sacred precincts echoing with the hymns of adoration. As the unification of Lower and Upper Egypt dawned, so did the spread of Puta's cult. The once confined worship now expanded its celestial wings, reaching beyond the borders of the kingdom. Puta's name echoed in the Eastern Mediterranean, resonating in the hearts of those who sought the divine craftsmanship of the cosmic architect. The Phoenicians, like custodians of ancient secrets, carried Puta's influence to Carthage. In this distant land, archaeologists uncovered effigies that attested to the widespread veneration of Puta, a testament to the god's enduring legacy. Memphis, once the cradle of Lower Egypt, became a cosmic nexus, 
a meeting point of mortal devotion and divine presence. Puda, the weaver of worlds, watched over his worshippers from the sacred heart of Memphis, his influence stretching far and wide, leaving an indelible mark on the ancient map of worship. In the sacred sanctuaries dedicated to Puda, where the earthly met the divine, prayers echoed like celestial whispers. Picture devotees, their hearts heavy with hopes and dreams, kneeling before the altars adorned with symbols of Puta's mastery. In these hallowed halls, people sought the divine craftsman's favor, their words a melodic dance that reached the ears of the celestial architect. For craftsmen, his guidance meant the delicate touch that turned raw materials into masterpieces. For the seekers of wisdom, Puta's benevolence translated into the enlightenment that could shape their destinies. In the tapestry of ancient Egyptian life, Huta's influence touched every thread, from the artisans sculpting monuments to the scribes etching tales of cosmic wonders. Offerings and sacrifices, like tokens of reverence, adorned Puta's altars. Imagine the fragrance of incense, swirling in the air like ethereal tendrils carrying the hopes and gratitude of worshippers to the divine craftsmen. Fruits, grains, and the finest crafts of mortal hands were laid before Puta an earthly tribute to the architect of their existence. In these rituals, people sought not just favor, but a cosmic alliance. Puta's blessings were seen as the cornerstone of craftsmanship's prosperity. And through these rituals, the mortal realm communed with the celestial, hoping to weave a harmonious symphony with the divine architect. The cult of Puhta, an integral part of everyday Egyptian life, was a celebration of the creative forces that pulsed through the cosmos. Devotees wove Puhta's influence into the very fabric of their existence. His temples, adorned with symbols of power, life, and stability, stood as cosmic gateways where mortals met the divine. Imagine a bustling marketplace, where artisans sought Puhta's guidance before chiseling stone or carving hieroglyphs. In the quiet corners of homes, families whispered prayers for Puta's blessings, acknowledging his role as the master architect of their lives. The cult of Puta was not a distant affair, but an intimate dance between mortals and the divine. In their endeavors, be it building monuments or crafting intricate jewelry, devotees sought Puta's inspiration. His name, like a divine refrain, echoed through the daily rhythms of Egyptian life a testament to the enduring legacy of the master craftsman. Puta's cult was not just a religious practice, it was a living expression of the cosmic dance between creation and creator. In the hearts of the devotees, Puta's influence flowed like a river, shaping the contours of their existence and leaving an indelible mark on the annals of ancient worship. As we close the ancient tome of Puta's mythic journey, the pages whisper tales of a god who opened not just the mouths of the departed, but the very doors of creation itself. Puta, the opener of worlds, stands as a celestial architect, his blue helmet reflecting the cosmic expanse he shaped. In the symphony of Egyptian mythology, Puta's creative tongue wove the melody of existence. His role as the opener, the divine craftsman, left an indelible mark on the fabric of the cosmos, from the sacred rituals in his temples to the celestial gatherings of the Enead, Puta's influence reached far beyond the mortal veil. A god of craftsmanship, wisdom, and familial bonds, Puta's legacy endures, a testament to the enduring power of creation. The symbols of his scepter, the Waz, Ankh, and Jed, echo through the ages, reminding us that in the heart of creation, Puta's name resounds, a celestial hymn that transcends the sands of time.